Whew. Just finished up here on the court. Oh, man. Feels good. Looks like it's about to rain out here, though. Thunder. So, I'm going to get out of here before I get rained on. Um, yeah, I've been in a process of unfollowing a lot of people on Instagram. And it's mainly because of this Kamala Harris nominee thing. Um, and what I'm realizing, what I've always realized, what I always knew, but what just reassures me is that the black community is so cliquish. And if you're not in the clique, they ain't fucking with you at all. Like real talk. Um, like when I see, yo, I don't care about her politics. I don't care about what she did in the past, anything but Trump. Or when I see like 53 black men get on a call, a Zoom call and raise 1.3 million or 40,000 black women get on a Zoom call and raise all of this money, some odd million dollars, 1.4, something like that. It just shows me a lot about the community. And also the people that I've deemed to be heroes or I've deemed to be respectable people. Even sort of like uh, like Russell Simmons. Like all of these people, like it's such a click that all of these people that are in this click are showing alliance to Kamala Harris just because they're Democrats and she's a fair skinned woman. Not because of her policies, because she even has policies. It's simply no Trump. And that's fine. That's fine. Doesn't have to be Trump. But on the other end, where's her policies? What's her history? What's her history of leading? And I know she does not have a history of leading up into this, like this magnitude. A country that's in dire needs of someone to make a change. During her vice presidency, you didn't even see her. Um, and you have all of these people, mainly celebrities or, and all of these black media outlets. I unfollowed all of them, all of them. And it's not because I'm like, yo, you should vote for Trump or you should vote for Kamala. It's because it's the sheer fact that she's a fair skinned lady because she is not FBA. She is not black. She's Indian. It's because she's a woman, that's another thing, and because she's Democrat. That's the other thing. It's not because she would be a great leader. Not at all. Like we are so, so off of the, like just off the mark completely, especially as black people. Like the alliance that we have to celebrity, the alliance that we have to the Democratic Party, the pandering a lot of men have to women that they're married to or they or they date. It's disgusting. Like where are the black independent thinkers? 
that make decisions for their self? Where are those people that make decisions because that's the best decision to make instead of going along with the go along, get along gang. And because someone has money or because someone has celebrity status, that means they have um, a higher priority and people follow them just because of that. It's like, it's sheer bullshit, like really. And one thing about me is I have never been popular amongst the black people. I've never been in a clique. They've never allowed me in a clique. Thank God I could play a little bit of basketball so I can um, at least not get jumped every day. <laughs> For real because that's how much people didn't like me so it's only fitting that I'm where I am doing what I do because this is this is sheer it's, it's so concerning it's so concerning it's so concerning it's so concerning and like I said it's not because yo I'm pro Trump I'm pro this it's not because of that it's because what has been proven for everyone to just hop on this bandwagon and say hey it's Kamala Harris or nothing what what is the what has she proven that she can be a good leader and I'll wait and that's my video for the day if you don't like it unsubscribe get off of my channel I'm only looking for like-minded people that are independent thinkers like myself. Just that simple. Peace.